ओके हेलो एवरीवन आई डिड अ लाइव सेशन यस्टरडे कल लाइव सेशन किया था बट आई वाज रिसीविंग सो मेनी क्यूरीज कि आगे फ्यूचर में क्या होने वाला है इंडिया और कनाडा का इशू चल रहा है देयर आर रिलेशंस रिलेशंस खराब हो रहे हैं व्हाट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स कैन हैपन सो दिस इज नॉट अ लाइव सेशन where i want to have just one type one side of conversation it is going to be one side but uh, i would like you guys to comment on different things as well because uh, i want to make it kind of a loud discussion with you guys ki kya kya cheeze ho sakti hain if anything goes wrong in future abhi tak kuch aisa hua nahi hai jisse visa pe impact ho canada hasn't taken any step canada ne abhi tak koi aise step nahi liye hain jisse kisi ke visa ke upar kisi tarah ka impact ho so there is no such news till now ki visas pe koi impact hone wala hai so till now visas are all safe secure safe secure means processing is going on and processing is fine and processing wise we also know that everything is online even if the processing is not happening in india particularly in that case as well it can happen in canada as well earlier earlier also uh, we have got so many results so many visas from cpc edmonton ottawa as well so there are different places in nova scotia or in uh, uh, toronto side as well so there are so many places from where massive application processing can happen so it is not a concern so for me this is not a concern that how processing is going to happen whether processing will happen in india or whether the processing is happen will happen in canada whether processing will happen that is not my concern concern is ultimately whether the process will go on or ki visas aayenge ya nahi aayenge nahi aayenge to kya hoga canada rok dega to kya hoga canada nahi rokega to fir kya hoga canada rok dega to fir uske baad aapke aapko kis tarah ke losses ho sakte hain kis tarah ke issues ho sakte hain so in this video i want to discuss it loudly with you guys ki kya kuch ho sakta hai what kind of things can happen in case uh, these problems keep on happening in future kyun ho rahi hai we won't go into that hame we just want to see ki hamare upar kya impact hone wala hai if that happens to kya impact hai if this happens to kya impact hai ki aisa hota hai to kya impact hai aisa nahi hota to kya impact hai india kuch karta hai to kya impact hai aur india kya kya kar sakta hai canada kuch karta hai to kya impact hai aur canada kya kya kar sakta hai so let's make it a discussion in that way ki what kind of impact we are going to have in this type of scenarios agar aisa aisa kuch hota hai hamare sath to so many students were asking admission team as well many students are are asking me as well on calls ki whether we are going to get spouse visa or not my spouse is in india what should i do whether we should apply for visitor visa and call my spouse quickly or we should go for spouse visa only or uh, if we already have visitor visa should we travel now or can we wait can we come later on kya flights band ho sakti hain kya uh, embassies band ho sakti band ho sakti hain and my spouse is not going to get spouse uh, visa in that scenario uh, i am separated from family i am i have already paid the fee what is going to happen with my fee if tomorrow some problem happens so there are so many questions there in the mind of students who are already in canada okay who are already in canada and they don't have uh, they are not married and they are in canada and for them it is all sorted not high not completely sorted for me for example it is not completely sorted uh, i am also anxious about the things because uh, all these developments are going to impact my life as well inside canada so i am also going to be impacted if something bad happens okay that is one thing but at least i am not worried about my visa as my travel and all those things so worst case scenario if it is uh, if these th things are temporary first first of all it is very clear uh, by the government of india that travel of canadian students uh, travel of indian students who are in canada it is not going to be impacted any time in future it's not a problem we can travel any time so it's not a concern but i believe i feel that uh, people are going to avoid any kind of travels in future because if these tens tensions are going to be increased in that case there may be a halt in travel as well and we don't want to stuck in india and 
uh, our Canadian study is going to be impacted in that scenario if something bad happens. So just to be cautious, if if I was uh, if someone was planning to travel to Canada uh, to India from Canada, may not travel in next few weeks until unless everything settles down. This may be the current scenario for someone who has already got visa. No other visa is pending for the family. So in that case, for them, it is sorted. Just one caution is there that uh, uh, avoid traveling outside Canada and it, it may impact your future travel. If there is something bad happens, more bad happens, uh, more things uh, go bad in future. So uh, this is one thing for, for someone who has already got visa. Other type of people are there then uh, who have got study visa already in Canada. Now their spouse is in India and still waiting for visa. They have already applied or still waiting to be uh, waiting for their visa to be applied. This is second category. We will discuss for that as well. And third, who are still in the process of application or the initial stage of their study visa application. So that is another uh, people we are going to discuss. So if you have any pen paper, just uh, you can also keep writing and writing in the comments as well. Uh, I will keep on reading the comments with you guys because uh, I want to make it a discussion. I uh, one side communication. So just keep writing your comments so that I can also read ki what you, you guys are thinking because there may be many points that I have not thought or understood or not in front of me. And you may be thinking about those things as well. Or there are issues that you think are issues. I don't understand that there are such issues. So those uh, issues have not reached yet. So uh, if you are going to comment, then we will be able to uh, discuss on those issues as well. So please. Also, if you can add, add other people as well. Right now, 44 people are there uh, uh, watching this live right now. If you can share the live session so that other people can also join and uh, join this discussion or how many points mil sakte hai iske andar, so that we can uh, sort out a few critical points ki aisa hota hai to aisa kar sakte hai, aisa hota hai to aisa kar sakte hai, so that the discussion will have a direction. So other people can also join. You can ask other people to join. Agar koi groups ho gera hai students ke, so you can ask the uh, students to join these groups. I guess this is uh, a really critical topic right now of discussion everywhere. सबके अपने अपने सब अपने अपने तरह से डिस्कस कर रहे हैं जो पॉलिटिकल एनालिस्ट हैं वो अलग तरह से डिस्कस कर रहे हैं जो जियोपॉलिटिकल पॉलिटिकल टॉपिक्स डिस्कस करते हैं वो अलग तरह से डिस्कस कर रहे हैं हर कोई अपने अपने तरीके से डिस्कस कर रहा है सो वी आर इन इमिग्रेशन हम अपने तरीके से डिस्कस करते हैं कि हम पर क्या इंपैक्ट होने वाला है बाकी सारे चीजों पे वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू कमेंट ऑन पॉलिटिक्स और किसने क्या किया क्या किया सो लेट्स लीव दोस पार्ट्स क्योंकि हमारे पास हमारे ऊपर अल्टीमेटली जो इंपैक्ट होने वाला है लेट्स फोकस ऑन दैट so I am dividing the entire conversation is in two parts. One part is what India can do. India क्या क्या चीजें करता जा सकता है किस लेवल तक किस क्या क्या और चीजें कर सकता है इसके अंदर कनाडा क्या क्या चीजें कर सकता है इसके अंदर इसके अंदर दो चीजें होंगी one इसको करने की probability कितनी है मतलब हम अपने तरह से सोच सकते हैं because uh, extreme things happened till now. Ab tak jo hua hai, wo extreme hi hua hai. Hamne kabi aisa socha nahi tha ki aisa kuch hoga. But extreme things ha uh, happened till now. Uh, ek prime minister ka aise khade hoke bol dena. Hamne kabi dekha nahi apne lifetime mein. Yesterday also I said this. Maine kabi nahi dekha ki aise kabi kisi kisi country against aisa kuch bol dena. Mere liye first experience tha aisa kuch. So uh, extreme things have happened. Hamne imagine nahi ki thi. To main aage bhi soch ke chal raha hoon ki extreme things may happen in future as well. Uh, क्या क्या हो सकती है हमें कैसे सेफ गार्ड करना है अपने आप को ताकि हमारा कहीं पे लॉस ना हो हम कहीं फंसे ना हमारा कहीं लॉस ना हो सो दैट इज माय इंटेंशन इन दिस पर्टिकुलर डिस्कशन क्या क्या चीजें क्या क्या चीजों का लॉस हो सकता है पहले वो देख लेते हैं कौन कौन कर सकता है वो भी देख लेते हैं एंड हाउ वी कैन सेफ गार्ड आवर सेल्फ और हमारे पास उसका क्या डिफेंस है वो भी देख लेते हैं सो वन साइड इज इंडिया अनदर साइड इज कैनेडा सो what India has done till now, वो लिख लेते हैं और इंडिया आगे क्या कर सकता है वो देख लेते हैं and उससे हम पर क्या इंपैक्ट होने वाला है वो चीज़ देख लेते हैं। uh, let let me uh, go through to the comments one by one so that अगर कोई पॉइंट छूट जाएगा तो मुझे पता चल जाए। uh, Rit is writing I hope you are doing well yes uh, 
एनी इम्पैक्ट ऑन स्पाउस ऑफ एन वर्क परमिट डिले में हैपन लेकिन इम्पैक्ट वीजा पे क्या होगा दैट इज अ डिफरेंट डिस्कशन डिले इज अ डिफरेंट डिस्कशन वीजा खत्म करना इज अ डिफरेंट डिस्कशन ये दोनों बिल्कुल अलग अलग चीजें हैं सो so, दोनों चीजों के ऊपर अलग अलग डिस्कस करेंगे तो स्पाउस वीजा वी हैव ऑलरेडी नोटेड लेट्स मी टेक अनदर पेज ताकि कोई डिस्कशन रह ना जाए वन थिंग इज स्पाउस ऑफ एन वर्क परमिट इम्पैक्ट एंड सेकेंड टाइम तो इस चीज के ऊपर दिस इज अ लाउड डिस्कशन मैंने कुछ कंक्लूजन नहीं निकाल रखा है दिस इज अ लाउड डिस्कशन जस्ट आई एम मेकिंग माई सेल्फ क्लियर दिस इज अ लाउड डिस्कशन आई एम डूइंग विद यू गाइज ताकि आप भी कमेंट कर सके एंड आई एम पुटिंग माई पॉइंट एज वेल आप किस पॉइंट से एग्री करते हैं डिस एग्री करते हैं ऐसा भी हो सकता है सो लेट्स मेक इट दिस काइंड ऑफ डिस्कशन कमेंट्स जल्दी कर सकते हैं यू कैन मेक मोर कमेंट्स ताकि आपके व्यूज आते रहे मुझे समझ आता रहे आई एम गोइंग टू कैनेडा ऑन फिफ्टीन दिसंबर सो वट विल हैपन सो दिस इज सेकेंड पॉइंट कि ट्रेवल पे क्या इम्पैक्ट होगा जिनका वीजा आ चुका है ट्रेवल इम्पैक्ट आफ्टर वीजा एंड दिस वीजा कैन बी स्टडी वीजा और इट कैन बी स्पाउस वीजा और एनी अदर वीजा एज वेल ठीक है सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस दिस इज वन पॉइंट ट्रेवल पे क्या इम्पैक्ट होगा एनी पोटेंशियल इश्यूज Uh, of those who have genuine intake visa so we we are going to discuss that as well ki agar aapke paas visa and you are going to travel in december what will happen in that scenario what about those who have already study visa okay we are going to discuss i am planning uh, to apply for spouse of open work permit uh, will this current situation delay the application uh, it can delay the uh, application just i am comparing it with the covid situation covid mein jaisa hua tha it can delay the application बट एप्लीकेशन पर रियल इम्पैक्ट क्या होगा इन टर्म्स ऑफ रिजल्ट उस पर हमें डिस्कस करना है आई एम नॉट रियली कंसर्न अबाउट डिले डिले के बाद भी वीजा आ जाए मुझे उसमें ज्यादा इशू नहीं है वीजा आना चाहिए बेसिकली यू शुड बी एबल टू रीच स्पेशली स्पाउस वीजा के केस में ऐसा ना हो कि स्टडी स्टूडेंट वहाँ स्पाउस रह जाए तो नो वन कैन बियर दिस काइंड ऑफ इशूज बिकॉज फीस आपकी यहाँ पे फंसी है स्पाउस वहाँ पे फंसा है एंड यू आर अन एबल टू ट्रेवल तो इट बिकम्स एन इशू so uh, let's see this kind of situation as well जहाँ पे आपके साथ ऐसा हो सकता है अगर ऐसा होगा तो इसकी प्रॉबिलिटी कितनी है एंड अगर एक्सट्रीम भी कुछ होता है तो उसके इसमें हमारे पास मेजर्स क्या है सो वट विल हैपन इन दैट सीनरियो सो वी विल डिस्कस ऑल ऑल काइंड ऑफ पॉइंट हेयर आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग द पॉइंट ताकि कुछ छूट ना जाए I am going to apply my spouse of my my kids first visa in October will it impact or not okay we will discuss is passport printing still working yes passport printing is still working there is no impact this is an internal matter of india to iske upar koi issue nahi hai passport printing if you are saying about uh, vfs office printing passport uh, printing visa on passport yes it is still happening it's not a problem till now entire processing is happening in india nothing uh, has been on hold everything is perfectly fine sab kuch waisa hi chal raha hai jaisa pehle chal raha tha There is no issue till now. We are discussing about if something bad happens in future. अगर होता है तो हमारे पास किस किस तरह की चीजें हैं So this will become a loud discussion. जिससे हमें पता होगा कि क्या क्या possibilities हैं क्या क्या issues हो सकते हैं जितने हम सोच पा रहे हैं So it is like that. Till now, study visa applications, spouse visa applications, visa printing by VFS. Everything is going perfectly fine. Biometrics students are going for biometric as well. Uh, uh visa printing on passport it is also happening fine we are getting results as well every day we are getting uh, spouse visa results as well so it is going fine till now everything is uh, working till now as it was working uh, previously before this issue sab kuch waise hi chal raha hai we are we are doing it for future to aap jinka ho chuka hai unke liye koi concern nahi hai unka sirf ek if you are in india your concern is whether i will be able to travel to canada or not this is one thing इस जिस पे हम डिस्कस करेंगे बट इफ यू इफ यू ऑलरेडी गोट पीपीआर तो आपका सब कुछ हो जाएगा इफ यू ऑलरेडी पेड द फी लॉस्ट योर फाइल और बायोमेट्रिक देने जाना है इट इज हैपनिंग राइट नाउ तो वो भी आप दे सकते हो बायोमेट्रिक पेंडिंग okay so this is one thing i have noted kya student visa close ho sakte hain to we will discuss on student visa in short student visa close hone ki probability bahut zyada kam hai 
क्योंकि इट इज गोइंग टू हैव डायरेक्ट इम्पैक्ट ऑन कैनेडियन इकोनॉमी तो अगर मतलब आई डोंट नो हाउ टू से इट सॉफ्टली तो अगर गवर्नमेंट का दिमाग बहुत खराब नहीं होगा आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट कैनेडियन गवर्नमेंट अगर बहुत दिमाग खराब नहीं होगा तो दे कांट स्टॉप स्टडी वीजा एप्लीकेशन दे कांट इवन डिक्रीज इट टू रेली लो दिस इज ऑल्सो वन मोर थिंग क्योंकि बिल्डिंग अप इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इट टेक्स ए टोल सो टेक्स ए टोल मीन्स इट टेक्स रिसोर्सिस एनर्जी सो यू आर इंक्रीजिंग यू आर इंक्रीजिंग यूर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बिल्डिंग मोर बिल्डिंग स्पेसिस फॉर स्टूडेंट्स एंड ऑल दिस स्टफ यू हैव मोर स्टाफ मेंबर्स नाउ यू हैव मोर फैकल्टी टू टीच दिस स्टूडेंट्स देर आर देर इज ए कैफेटेरिया एज वेल देर इज देर देर आर सो मेनी फैसिलिटीज अराउंड सो एवरीथिंग इज बिल्डिंग अप टूगेदर इफ टूमोरो इफ टूडे आई हैव वन थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स इन अलगोमा यूनिवर्सिटी टूमोरो इट बिकम्स फाइव हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वट एवर आई हैव बिल्ट ऑलरेडी माई कॉस्ट इज ऑलरेडी देयर बट रिवेन्यू इज हाफ सो कैनेडियन गवर्नमेंट शुड नॉट डू इट विल नॉट डू इट बिकॉज कैनेडियन इकोनॉमी रन विथ स्टूडेंट्स अल्टीमेटली दीज स्टूडेंट्स वर्क एज पार्ट टाइम एंड दे आर वर्किंग ऑन लोएस्ट वेजेस दे आर वर्किंग इन ऑल काइंड ऑफ इंडस्ट्रीज दे आर रनिंग द एंटायर इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज इन द एंटायर कैनेडा without that that nothing happens in without students nothing can happen and it is going to have lifelong impacts on canadian economy if they stop taking students they cannot do it in the current particular scenario because local students in the college and universities are far far less compared to international students and the fee that we pay as international student is far more higher compared to any uh, canadian student so canada may not think about it also these students ultimately go on open work permit uh, uh, pg work permit after getting their pg work permit they get their pr as well so ultimately these students are crossing all the stages from student to pg work permit completing experience then going on uh, pnp or express entry to get their pr so they are actually becoming permanent residents of canada as well uh, in big numbers right now i guess more than 95% maybe 99% people who are getting pr are inside canada already they are either on study visa they are either on spouse open work permit they are either on work permit open work permit any kind of visa they are inside canada from outside canada people are not getting pr so there are enough people inside canada to get the pr for next 1 1 2 3 years so this type of uh, this type of scenario is there right now so you need to enter in canada to get your pr from outside it is highly highly difficult to get get the pr cut offs are really high pnp don't get you uh, don't give you invitation until unless you have job in that particular province um, maybe only one province maybe they are saskatchewan maybe they are which can give you invitation there also the cut off is high or particular no courts are invited but the numbers are really less so uh negligible number of people are getting pr from outside so these are the student uh, without students canadian economy canadian system pr system immig- immigration targets nothing is going to be met in future so student visa may not be stopped this is my assumption uh this is my logical assumption but if someone is thinking illogically and uh, if it is the matter of ego in that case any government any country can take any kind of step i can't stop it so logically canadian study visa applications will not stop canada versus usa which is better uh, canada is definitely better in terms of settlement if you are inside canada then within 3 years you can get your pr you can do uh, 16 month of study 12 month of experience in most cases generic cases i am telling 16 month of study which is equivalent to 2 year of study 16 month of study 12 month of experience and next 6 to 8 months to get your pr so within 3 years you can get your pr if everything goes as per plan and if your plan is right then in that sense canada versus usa canada is the best country in the world to get you get yourself settled in usa people don't get settled and uh, we apply for so many students from usa as well who are traveling to canada some uh, right now uh, recently as well many people who were uh, many uh, many people who were there who completed the study in uh, usa 
then they were on h1b and they uh, got their work permit inside canada as well so they are also entering in canada many people apply for pr as well and their cutoff is also uh, they are they were able to meet the cutoff it, i'm talking about uh, last to last year and uh, past two three years many usa people got uh, a pr in canada as well because they they were unable to get pr in usa so it has happened it has been happening uh, from uk to canada even after completing the study in uk even after completing the study in uh, usa students after completing their study they try to get another study either in canada or if they are uh, they are meeting the point criteria crs score and all then they come on pr as well so canada is the final destination for most people even though they have traveled to uk or usa initially but finally they try to go for uh, canada uh, otherwise getting settled uh, is really difficult in uk in usa those are the most difficult countries to get the pr uk as well it's easier to travel to uk travel to uk means getting study visa is easy in uk so anyone can go but again the settlement is the concern if you are not concerned about settlement then yes definitely uk visa country wise uk and canada both are similar countries you are going to get similar kind of things in both the both are dual countries basically but if uh, pr is the target in that case canada is the best country uh, by far which which i have uh, understood till now so that was the only reason i came here because when i was searching for my own phd i got invitations from many countries first invitation was from usa two invitations were, were from canada then uk australia two invitations were there uh, brazil one invitation was there malaysia one invitation was there so i got many invitation uh, france one in invitation was there but ultimately to travel with family with all my uh, comparisons i found that australia or canada this could be the choices for me ultimately i chose canada over australia because of the settlement issues and uh, what is better for my entire family so that's how i reached canada so it is the part it was the part of my research in 2019 till now it is the same in 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 those senses because uh, getting pr in other countries is again getting more and more and more difficult it is getting difficult in canada as well but if you are already inside canada or if you are coming inside canada on study visa or on some other visa then again you will be able to meet the criteria because after completing your uh, one year of experience you will get 50 point 50 50 50 points and uh, you will get 15 points for a pg diploma you will get points for your masters degree as well you will get pnp points for certain study you you get pnp points for completing experience in that particular province as well so system is more sorted in that sense if you are already inside canada so uh, it is going to happen that uh, uh, if you are already inside canada then in that case you are going to get uh, your pr for sure so in that sense canada is the best country to settle comparing canada with any other country jitki fai already embassy mein hai unka visa aane ke kitna chances hai so chances are quite fine so if you have already applied for visa my assumption is i am assuming that even if everything shut down in uh, india everything shut down in india means canadian operation shut down in india high embassy is shut down everything is shut down it happened during covid as well no operations were going on all the operations were happening only in canada so if canada doesn't uh, stop all the visas that we are not going to re release the results at all so these are two different things uh closing the embassy that is different and closing the processing of application that is different so closing the processing of application didn't happen in covid as well but closing of embassy happened during covid as well so even if the embassy is closed still you can get your result because there are so many places in, inside canada as well that uh, cpc edmonton is there ottawa is there these are the major places from where you can get your results so your results there is high probability that you can result get your result and even in uh, india uh, as, uh, as per the latest announcement by canada even if uh, uh, they may call few canadian people working inside india as immigration officers 
they may call them back but indian immigration officers will keep on working in india so even if they they are going to call people those will be the canadian people but the indian immigration visa officer they will keep working so that was the latest update so i feel uh, uh, applications will keep on processing so it should not be a problem and canada has already sorted this issue uh, during covid that they can process application all the applications go to cpc edmonton distributed to all the places so they can do it really quickly they have sorted it out recently during covid as well so they have the mechanism to tackle applications any number of applications even though visa officers are working from home they have done that as well during covid so they have the mechanism to process the application given that they don't have intention to stop the results of all the application if that is not there in that case definitely you are going to get result processing through india does not matter to anyone even if you are processing happening in uh, uae even if you are processing happening in any random country because there were so many applications which were processed in abu dhabi as well during covid it happened there were so many applications which were processed in cpc edmonton ottawa then nova scotia as well so so many places are there where your processing can happen so that's not a concern so processing of application is not a concern but if canadian government decides that we are not going to release results of these particular application that can become a concern but that will be too far to take a decision because all the students inside canada and outside canada are going to uh, make a big, um, big issue out of it and uh, uh, it will create so much of pressure on uh, canada and canada has never taken such a decision in past as well during covid as well they were pro students they supported students they they gave 2000 dollars per month to to students who were not working during covid for not working so canadian government is pro students till now but uh, uh, anything can happen if they take any bizarre decision further related to visa applications then it can become a really big issue for them as well uh, i think it it will not happen so we will talk about the probability as well very soon i am going to canada in october any problem no uh, i don't feel that uh, there is a problem till now if you already got visa so giving new visa is a different kind of thing versus so let me note it as well new visa versus travel so these are two different things so you getting a new visa is a different thing you traveling to a country is is different so flights are different giving visa is different so we'll discuss th this thing as well so i feel that it is not going to become a problem don't worry about it so during covid as well canada opened the flights with question and all uh, so flights because if they are going to stop flights in that case now it becomes another economic issue that you are stopping flight from a country no one will go no one will come it becomes a really big issue because there can be people who are uh, who are sick who are having problems their family member died here or there so there can be different kind of situations stopping flight in this kind of scenario for a country becomes a really big issue so there will be international pressure related to that as well they may not be able to do it so uh, these decisions whatever we are discussing it is going to take a lot of guts to make this type of decision because now the pressure will be pressure is already there but pressure will be there on both the countries india and canada pressure will be there uh, to sort it out because uh, other countries are going to be impacted indirectly with these type of things as well so uh, soon i guess uh, other countries will uh, enter in the conversation and try to sort it out in the best possible way because it is not in the interest of any country basically but about refund of applications i will discuss on refund as well okay i will discuss on refund just give me 5 minutes canada pehle se study kar rahe hain unke liye koi problem nahi hai so i am also studying so it's not a problem don't worry about it so there is no impact uh, whatsoever on the students i got uh, loa today uh, should i go ahead or not 
uh, fee part yes you can go ahead hustler uh, you can go ahead and pay your fee so till now there is no issue in that you can be sure about so i am going to discuss what kind of uh, issue can happen in future but uh, are you having some safety net for that yes you are having safety net so don't worry about it why you are uh, talking on both sides uh, what should i do <laughs> i am discussing it loud for myself or uh, and for my students so uh, should i take one side and proceed i don't know means i have never done it i have never done a live like that where i am discussing it like this and noting things what i need to discuss but i feel that uh, i am trying to analyze if i were a student then uh, uh, what kind of impact these things would have on my journey on my life so i am discussing it like like that so uh, if if i would be doing it alone the same things must be going in my mind as well that kya kya cheeze mere upar kya impact ho sakta hai if i am a student if i have paid the fee what can happen with me or my family so i am just discussing it loud why got study visa with tig and uh, she is traveling in december 13 now spouse of our kids application is with under process will there be any delays rejection uh, or any issues so i feel that uh, there should not be any issue in spouse of our work permit uh, canadians specifically they consider uh, family as uh, a high priority your spouse as high priority kids as high priority so this type of visas get really high priority so i believe uh, even if everything happens everything bad happens still if you are separated from fam family there is going to be specific processing of, for this type of applications it will not stop so spouses are going to be reunited so i feel that it is not going to become a problem so i have seen it previously so i am talking about these things uh, as per my experience only i just got loi today should i go for the fee part yeah you can proceed and don't worry about the uh, rest of the things i am going to share why you should not worry i will share that part as well spouse of one work permit processing will be delayed delay we, are, we have already discussed delay can happen but right now there is no sign of delay everything is going fine if there is there will be delays and then delays can be announced and we will be able to see it but right now even in study visa application results or in spouse open work permit application results everything is going as per the previous timelines in future whatever is going to have uh, we are going to share it uh, uh, on this channel study visa application submitted on 12th september you can get your result uh, uh, by the end of uh, this month so you can wait for your result will be able to apply for uh, admission of canada may intake september intake means students are going to be confirm admission may intake. yes we can uh, submit application for uh, may september for january as well and uh, no need to worry about it so admissions are open colleges and universities are not creating any mess or any issues so they are open and they are welcoming students because it is a business for them they can't stop taking business so they are not going to say no for anything uh yeah sayed many congratulations uh, sayed was online yesterday as well and he got ppr when he was live with me so many congratulations again student visa going down no study, student visa is not going down there is no such news uh, it was a speculation or it was a request done by uh, someone i guess uh, who is related to this housing uh, kind of uh, ministry i guess so it was it was uh, a comment done by someone that students are increasing the uh, accommodation cost in canada and there should be a bar on the number of students but from immigration minister there is no such comment that we are going to decrease number of applications number of visas for students so there is no such comment till now uh, so i guess it is going perfectly fine visa acceptance rate it is already good so it's not a concern don't worry about it offer letter applied northwest college 24 july but still not a northwest college can take a lot of time to give offer letter uh, please share your details on whatsapp uh, i'll ask the team to check it again but you should go for a backup as well so that you have uh, at least some backup if you don't get offer letter after so many days then it, it can become it can become a problem for you just share your details on whatsapp 9812380882 any issue related to study visa application for general intake no there is no issue 
uh, we are processing it and everything is going fine till now so we are not discussing that part till now everything is going perfectly fine we are not discussing that part till now everything is fine study visa application spouse visa application processing processing inside canada uh, biometric travel to canada travel from canada to india everything is going same as earlier there is no impact on these things till now we are not discussing that we are discussing what can happen in future we are discussing those parts sword college toronto is a yes or no sword college uh, toronto is fine yes you can go for it uh, it has pg work permit i believe if if it has pg work permit then go for it it's not a concern yes sword college toronto is fine i believe any issue next trend is uh, for traveling to canada no we are not finding uh, any issue in fact one of my friends he is traveling uh, to uh, canada in next 10 days arvind is in india he is going to travel very soon so uh, i feel there is no issue he hasn't got any notification any issues till now he has already booked the ticket and there is no notification till now to him that there is any issue or anything and we'll be able to see it openly as well if, if any issue happens but uh, till now i feel that traveling stopping traveling between countries uh, is is really difficult so it has uh, really really high impact so this decision cannot be taken like random uh what you are saying is right up right keep it up thank you as and jc uh, will they respond me in this yes banks jc universities colleges everything is fun functioning perfectly fine they are not in so called political things whatever is happening they mean business that's it and you are giving them business they will give you they will respond you for sure they are not into this kind of things that oh uh, indian student paid gic and we are going to they are not bothered about these things and they don't care because ultimately a capitalist is is a businessman is trader an entrepreneur for for them just business matters and they don't care what is happening they are getting a chance to give you a response until unless canadian government stop them to sending you responses they are not going to stop responding you so don't worry about it universities banks these institutes are never going to stop any responses to you it will happen don't worry and it's it's not really simple to stop these type of things they have it decreases the trust of a country that suppose any suppose uh, tomorrow all goa university stop responding you then anyone who is taking admission in algoma university from nigeria will also be worried any person who is doing gic in cibc will also be worried so it decreases the credibility of the entire country and the entire institute in terms of uh, uh, their trust and everything everything goes down and the entire country goes down with that so no country can take this type of decisions these are going to be really random decisions and it cannot be taken like that so uh, anyone's ego cannot be bigger than uh, the entire country because the entire country is going to suffer with this type of decisions so that's why these decisions are going to be really tough if it is going to be against uh, the entire country credibility of the country uh, future investors are also going to see whether we we are going to uh invest in this this type of countries because tomorrow government come and say that stop this business stop respond, responding to students stop giving admission to particular students stop giving admission to this and that and uh, stop responding to students who have paid the fee if they start doing that then in that case their credibility in future will uh, will go down for sure so the, taking this type of decision is really difficult uh so don't worry about it you will get response from your gic bank and from university as well i got my toefl score uh, will i get yes you require 83 score in toefl and this score is good enough for sds category you will get visa okay this is done safest place for the students <laughs> i'm not sure so no place is safe uh, अगर वही है कि अगर आई है आपकी तो फिर कोई नो प्लेस इज टॉप प्लेस इज सेफ सो आई वाज डिस्कसिंग विद मेनी फ्रेंड्स हु आर लिविंग इन डिफरेंट प्लेसेस सो आई एम डिस्कसिंग बिकॉज आई एम आल्सो ट्रैवलिंग टू 
uh, GTA and many, my family was also worried that uh, you should not travel and all. So I'm in touch with many of my friends and asking them about the updates. I am asking students as well. And till now, the, everything is perfectly fine. Uh, there is no news of any uh, aggression or uh, anything of this sort. In that case, I am considering and that's why I'm traveling as well. And uh, I'm believing in the system. I'm believing in uh, the way Canada works and uh, the way I have seen Canada till now. And I feel that uh, uh, places should be safe. There may be certain pockets where you can avoid traveling. Uh, or you can stay in the places where less number of students are saying, uh, staying. So definitely yesterday also I have explained it in detail. Uh, not just because of your safety point of view, but also because of your economic point of view, just because of your job point of view and cost point of view, cost of accommodation point of view. If you are going to stay away from the places where student concentration is high, if you are going to stay away from those places, in that case, uh, you are going to less, uh, you are going to get accommodation in lesser cost and you are going to get more job opportunities as well. So it is a dual benefit for you. So try to stay away from the pockets where most number of students are living. So uh, for example, if you are going to live in Millwoods in Edmonton, if you're going to live in Brampton, if you're going to live in Mississauga, try to find out places where less number of students are living. There may be places where students are there, but less number of students are there. So you can try to, try to find out those kind of places as well. It can be a little bit away from your university as well, still you can go for that it can give you all kind of benefits altogether uh, less cost of accommodation that is one more job opportunities that is two then your safety and all because uh, you are going you are going to live among the canadians and uh, usually they, they don't harm you or they don't say anything they are not uh, abusive in any sense so i am living here in brentwood and there is no other uh, home for any outsider in the entire village. I don't find it, uh, uh, I don't feel that there is any issue living here. Same can happen with you as well. So you can try to find out a place for you where less number of students are living and it will cover all the issues whatsoever can happen with you in Canada. So uh, that can solve all the issues for you. Make an industry gen and take how much time it will take to get visa visa timeline is 20 days approximately 20 days to get offer letter and 20 days to uh, process your application and all 15 days approximately so overall it can take one and a half months approximately to complete the entire process after get, getting confirmation from institution how much time we have to submit fee so you will get the timeline from algoma university it will be separate mckeevan university it will be separate all the collegian universities give you separate timeline uh, you should pay the fee as soon as possible, apply for your visa and submit application uh, without wasting any time. So this will be my uh, re recommendation. Yeah, uh, thank you, Asla. Proceed for your application. Uh, it should not, not be a problem. What kind of issues can happen? Just stay on the call on this uh, meeting. Uh, we are going to discuss that as well. How is Crandall University? Crandall is a private university. I don't really push the option. If you go for it, go for it. If you don't go for it, don't go for it. My recommendation is it is not in my hit list. Hit list means I don't uh, really push uh, for Crandall. Uh, many people try to go to Crandall because of the location and your PR prospects. Uh, but because usually it is difficult to get admission, difficult to get admission because the number of seats are quite less. And uh, we are doing general intake admissions now. They are May. We will go to reach May, they will reach September. We will reach September, they will reach January. So number of seats are quite less. It is a private university. Private is still fine. I don't uh, uh, find any issue with private university. Uh, but uh, just the location should not be the criteria to choose the university. So uh, again, share your profile. Let me see uh, if everything fits with, with you. And if it is the only good option for you, then we can definitely go for it. Alexander College is a really, really good college. Uh, whenever we applied uh, visas with Ale Alexander College, usually we applied for Associate of Arts Business Program. The results are always, always positive. It is a really, really good, good option. 
is it possible tourist visa convert to study visa inside canada yes but it is not recommended let me uh, i'll make a full video on that as well because uh, let me answer you in short uh, if you are inside canada applying for study visa your application is converted into non sds still your application will go to india for the processing because now the process is like that only your application will go to india it will be processed in india after the processing you will get your result then you need to send everything for your uh, passport stamping and getting your permit and all so uh, you are decreasing your visa chances in that sense and increasing the timeline as well you are not getting any benefit in in those cases so if you are even if you have the visitor visa and if you are living in a uh, in an sds country country like india apply from india it will give you more benefit same one year fee i will ask you to pay 10000 dollar gic i will ask you to pay then uh, medical i will ask you to do so you are completing all the criteria of sds why not to apply your visa from uh, under sds category from india you will get result quickly and uh, uh, acceptance rate is also really high i am not saying that your acceptance rate from inside canada will be low no that is not the scenario but why do you want to wait for two months or more than two months to get your results it is a waste of time completely it is not giving you any benefit ultimately the processing is happening in your home country only why do you want to take this type of thing do uh, this type of things it is not giving you any benefits anymore earlier the processing was from inside canada uh, that was giving you benefit of high acceptance rate you were inside canada and you can just immediately join the university now that is not the scenario it will go to india we applied for sagar and his application is still under process and we have applied so many students along with sagar everyone got the result reached canada as well his application is still under process i am really stressed uh, have to uh, uh, applied for my visa on 8th september many things are going don't worry about uh, dd uh, hobbies don't worry about it don't worry about your application nothing is on stake in terms of uh, your application in terms of your money or anything of this sort so, so till now everything is going fine and things are in the uh, positive side for the students students from india specifically because canada cannot afford to ignore the student base coming from india it is not possible to be ignored so 50% of the students uh, who are coming to canada cannot be replaced with anyone else suddenly so if there are uh, 5 lakh students coming each year in canada 2.5 lakh out of those 5 lakh are coming from india and there is no replacement sudden replacement for these 2.5 lakh students suddenly tomorrow if they think that china is going to send uh, uh, 2.5 lakh students suddenly uh, to to canada it is not going to happen so we are not at stake completely i am not uh, feeling that because without students canada cannot run and without indian students canada cannot run definitely so uh, whatever step they can take uh, whatever steps uh, uh, they can take they can take but the steps can be really temporary don't spam you will get visa yes you will get visa what's what's the problem in that so it can, it may not happen right now it can be delayed and even if it is stopped it cannot be stopped permanently so when we say you will get visa you will get visa so what's the problem in that and if, even if there are refusals it will be announced or it will be uh, announced even direct either directly or indirectly it will be announced that no visas are coming everyone is getting refusals okay then also it will be clear and uh, even if it is announced that uh, we are not going to get give visas then also it will be clear so we'll get the notification but right now if your application is in process as of today you are going to get visa because processing is going fine processing is going right yesterday also say it got visa so till now everything is going fine there is no impact on study visa application still now so as of today i can say that yes you will get it what's the problem if tomorrow something some other update happens yes we are going to see the other updates as well so we are going to see it in future why i should be worried about something which is going to happen in future we are going to discuss upon it and we are going to safeguard on those things and i am writing these things as well what kind of things can happen but 
does it mean that today also i should feel that i am not going to get visa and definitely i am not going to apply as well so should i do that so that is not the way i work personally that i just keep on assuming things and just uh, stop taking actions based on those things which i assume so i i am not going to do that and i am not asking people to do, do that as well so iska matlab it is it is same like uh, why why you are coming to canada you can die today as well why you are coming to canada trying to build your career you can anyone can die any day and i can die now as well and anyone can die any time so should we stop doing whatever we are doing because we can die any day no that that's not i function personally so as of today yes can you get visa should you proceed yes you you should definitely proceed but we need to take cushion in future and how we can so safeguard ourselves that we can discuss yes definitely amit i am marking your words and we are here you are also here uh, whenever we are doing something in life so we need to take calculated risk and everything is calculated risk when i started my business when i dropped my phd and started my business it, it was a calculated risk it was a transition from my phd to this business and i dropped my phd as well phd is not like uh, gali chap study it was not uh, some ug diploma or something it was phd in ets montreal when i dropped it it was a calculated risk so in life you need to take calculated risks and whosoever take risk get the rewards as well and let me give you other examples as well during covid people were afraid of applying for uh, canada study visa it happened before that as well before covid as well in 2019 people were afraid of applying for canada study visa and they wanted to come on pr they are still inside canada uh, still in india waiting for their pr and if it, it will not happen that time the cutoff was uh, 465 approximately 465 462 it was uh, in 460s now the cutoff is 500 whosoever reached canada they have already completed one year of experience as well and they are completing their uh, they are on the path of getting their pr as well they took calculated risk that time okay we have the money ready for our pr because for pr as well you need to collect funds they had some money ready they applied for their study visa i also applied for my study visa in 2019 got it and i am in the process right now if i were waiting for my pr Uh, like 2019 everyone was telling me that i could get my pr from inside inside canada inside uh, from from india as well my uh, uh, ielts score was 8.5 triple 7 now all the consultants told me i paid for that as well but still i took a uh, took a call that okay i'll go on study visa and even if i am getting the cut off from canada from india i'll get it from canada as well but it didn't go down it kept on increasing increasing during entire covid period and till now it is increasing it is more than 500 now so it is a calculated and karan tamanna they were at age 31 they also took calculated risk if they were also waiting for something great to happen some miracle to happen it was our first application everyone said no to them for their visa application and when i applied for their visa their age was 31 32 they took calculated risk today also people say no for study visa application at age 32 and when they when we applied for they were they were my first cases when we applied for their visa they reached canada they they have completed their first year of experience in it and uh, their score is more than uh, 468 right now even at age 33 34 i guess 35 and they can get tech draws both of them can get tech draws in ontario they can get uh, their pr from ontario as well so you need to take calculated risk in life if you keep waiting for something great to happen if you keep waiting for the entire road to be uh, free of cars then only i will uh, uh, take my car for drive then you can't drive anywhere so you need to take calculated risk itna to aapko risk lena hi padta hai whenever you are taking decision in life sometimes risk is bit higher sometimes uh, risk is uh, you are just risk free uh, but every time it doesn't happen this is time you need to take a call if you are not taking a call few people may be reaching right now few people might be 
due to their fear or something they might delay their decision for four months or five months or six months or eight months or one year just like people did in covid so karan and tamanna applied their visa in covid they completed their entire study from inside india from from india and they enjoyed the salaries of india comfort of india completed their study in india only they came whenever they came they just completed one semester in canada after that they applied for their pg work permit got their pg work permit just with one year, one semester of study in canada so they did calculated risk they took calculated risk started their study inside canada inside india believing everything and they got the reward as well so you need to see what you want to do in life bilkul aisa nahi hota hai ye either east side hai ya us side hai aisa nahi hota hai so everything is great so beech mein hona chahiye theek hai so you need to take calculator thoda risk har cheez mein hota hai theek hai so don't uh, i am i'm not asking ki ha aisa hi kar lo ultimately you are going to take a call ki mujhe study visa apply karna hai nahi karna hai ya mujhe ek saal wait karna hai ya mujhe 10 saal wait karna hai ya mujhe nahi jana hai this is your decision whoever is taking this decision uh, is taking the the toll of this particular decision ki galat hoga to wo bhi le raha hai सही होगा तो वो भी ले रहा है रिवॉर्ड भी ले रहा है उसका और उसका जो जो लॉस होगा वो भी ले रहा है सो पर्सन इज टेकिंग बोथ द थिंग्स टुगेदर आई एम डूइंग दिस बिजनेस आई एम आल्सो टेकिंग बोथ द थिंग्स प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस टुगेदर जो लॉस हो रहा है तो वो भी मेरा है प्रॉफिट हो रहा है तो वो भी मेरा है यू आर टेकिंग इट इज देयर इन ऑल डिसीजन एंड डिसीजंस कैन नॉट बी ऑब्जेक्टिव कि हां आपको सीधा सीधा पता चल जाए वो क्या होता है फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स की तरह वो जो होता है यस और नो वाले आंसर के नो लाइफ इज नॉट लाइक दैट सो यू नीड टू टेक डिसीजंस कि हाउ मच रिस्क इज देयर एंड वेदर आई एम एबल टू टेक दिस काइंड ऑफ रिस्क और नॉट सो इफ यू आर इन प्रोसेस गो विद द प्रोसेस जो होगा देखा जाएगा क्या उसके लिए क्वेश्चंस लेने हैं मुझे क्या मैं उसको मुझे रिस्क फ्री होने के लिए क्या क्या चीजें हैं मेरे पास वी कैन डिस्कस ऑन दोज थिंग्स बट मुझे ये प्रोसेस ही करना है नहीं करना आई नेवर से आज प्रोसेस पॉसिबल है तो वी शुड टेक दिस प्रोसेस वी शुड डू दिस प्रोसेस प्रोसेस करने में स्टार्ट करने में इशू नहीं होना चाहिए सो यू नीड टू बी हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ लिविंग योर कंट्री एंड कमिंग टू ए न्यू कंट्री वहां पे लोग मैनेजर से बैंक में दे वर दे वर हैविंग अ रियली गुड लाइफ कमिंग टू कनाडा इजंट इट अ रिस्क ये यहां वीजा मिलने के बाद भी इजंट इट अ रिस्क क्या यहां पे आना लोग एमएनसीज में 40 40 लाख रुपए की जॉब कर रहे थे मिस्टर सतबीर एट एज 42 he was a senior finance manager kuch aisa karke unki position thi his he was earning really good bahut achhi bahut zyada achhi matlab jo hum sochte hain ki high high package lag gaye waise wali unki salary thi he came here theek hai kya kya isme risk nahi hai kya same salary dobara mil jayegi we don't know that hame nahi pata hai we don't know this kind of thing so this is also even after getting your visa this is again a risk you are coming to a new country it is also a risk so you are risking This is a calculated risk. आपने लोगों की जर्नीज देखी हैं. After watching the, those journeys, you have seen कि पॉसिबल है तो मेरे लिए भी पॉसिबल है. तो वन परसन सेइंग पॉसिबल है, टू सेइंग पॉसिबल है, थ्री सेइंग पॉसिबल है, टू थाउजेंड सेइंग पॉसिबल है, टू हंड्रेड थाउजेंड सेइंग पॉसिबल है, वन मिलियन पीपल सेइंग पॉसिबल है. इंडिया से कनाडा आए हैं. Two point five million people are there, I guess, from India. They are making their journey good. दो टू मिलियन पीपल कैन नॉट बी रॉन्ग मतलब होंगे कुछ लोग जो परेशान हुए हैं यहाँ आके भी जो वापस चले गए होंगे होंगे कुछ थोड़े से लोग होंगे डस इट मीन कि सब सब कुछ ही खराब है नो इट डजेंट वर्क दिस वे सो एवरीथिंग इज कैलकुलेटेड रिस्क रिस्क एंड रिस्क के अंदर हमें देखना होता है कि हमारे पास किस किस तरह के इशूज हो सकते हैं एंड डू वी हैव एनी क्वेश्चन फॉर दैट क्या मेरा रिस्क मैं उससे किसी तरह से कवर कर सकता हूँ दैट्स हाउ वी प्रोसीड इट इज फॉर ऑल द डिसीजन and it is not uh, spam scam uh, whatever you are saying so oh, mera purpose uh, i stay open for everything all the discussions all the arguments all the all kind of uh, things and i say everything openly and that is what i try to promote in my entire channel so i am thinking it loud jo mere dimag mein hai jo mujhe samajh raha hai i am just interpreting it in in words main wo bol raha hu that's it koi yahan script leke nahi baitha hu main कि मेरे को आई है कहीं से गवर्नमेंट से आई है कि ये चीज बोल देना यहाँ पे चैनल पे जाके आई डोंट वर्क लाइक दैट और कोई स्क्रिप्ट नहीं होती मेरे पास व्हेन एवर आई मेक वीडियोस और एनीथिंग और व्हेन आई व्हेन एवर आई शूट समथिंग विद समवन कोई स्क्रिप्ट से नहीं बोलता हूँ मैं 
तो वाई वाई वुड आई स्पैम यू कल को आगे मुझे गालियां दोगे मेरे चैनल के ऊपर नीचे कमेंट्स लिखोगे कहीं जाके रिव्यूज में लिखोगे जाके ये ऐसे ऐसी बातें करता है गलत बोलता है आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू फेस दोज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स बाय बाय शेयरिंग रॉन्ग इन्फॉर्मेशन और रॉन्ग इंटेंशन बाय डूइंग समथिंग विद रॉन्ग इंटेंशन आई आई कैन डू इट सो वट एवर इज देर इन माई माइंड बट आई वुड डू फॉर माई सेल्फ और फॉर माई फैमिली आई एम सेंग द सेम फॉर यू गाइज एज वेल तो क्या मैंने वी आर अपलाइंग फॉर नरेंद्र एज वेल वो मुझसे सुबह पूछ रहा था कि नरेंद्र इज वर्किंग विद मी इन माई ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ही वॉज आस्किंग मी शुड आई प्रोसीड आई सेड यस प्रोसीड अप्लाई फॉर यूर वीजा और सब प्रॉब्लम सो यू नीड टू डेट कैलकुलेटेड रिस्क क्या बैड हो सकता है उसके लिए सोचते हैं अच्छा लेट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट डिस्कशिंग डिस्कसिंग क्या बैड हो सकता है इसके अंदर उसकी क्या क्या चीजें रिस्क पे हैं हमें यही डिस्कशन करना था ना इस मीटिंग में वट बैड कैन हैपन टू थिंग्स आर रिस्क ऑन रिस्क वन मेरा ड्रीम ड्रीम टू गो टू कैनेडा सेटल मेक बिग थिंग्स ये दिस इज दिस इज माई माई ड्रीम ओके मेरा ड्रीम इज ऑन ऑन स्टेक सो यू विल हैव इमोशनल डैमेज अगर कैनेडा ने स्टडी वीजा एप्लीकेशन बंद कर दी दिस इज योर इमोशनल डैमेज यही है ना कि मैंने कुछ सपना देखा मेरी अपॉर्चुनिटी लूज हो गई मैं पहले नहीं पहुंच पाया दिस इज दिस इज वन काइंड ऑफ इशू यू आर गोइंग टू फेस दैट कैनेडा शट डाउन इफ कैनेडा शट डाउन स्टडी वीजा एप्लीकेशन या प्रोसेसिंग बंद कर देते हैं या फिर दे स्टार्ट गिविंग रिफ्यूजल्स एंड रिफ्यूजल्स ठीक है it is less likely to happen because it is going to have huge 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 impact on canadian economy mai bahut baar is cheez ko discuss kar chuka hu ki students hi canada ki economy ko chalate hain they are going to have direct slap on the economy after stopping canada study visa applications naye students aane band ho jaye the accommodation ka issue resolve ho jaye kyunki inke paas accommodation ka issue bhi isliye hota hai ki students bahut sare aate hain तो जब इतने सारे स्टूडेंट्स एक साथ सितंबर में आके अकोमोडेशन सर्च करने लगते हैं तो लोगों को लगता है क्या लूट लू जो चीज 1200 की होती है उसको 1400 हो जाती है 1500 हो जाती है क्योंकि एक ही रेंटल अपार्टमेंट के लिए एक ही बेसमेंट के लिए 20 लोग खड़े हैं 10 लोग खड़े हैं अप्लाई कर रहे हैं मेरे पास चॉइस है इट इज ऑल अबाउट डिमांड एंड सप्लाई सेम थिंग इफ यू ट्राई टू डू इन नवंबर सेम थिंग ट्राई टू डू इन अक्टूबर बट अक्टूबर और नवंबर में आपको कम कॉस्ट में मिल जाएगी क्योंकि उस टाइम का स्टूडेंट्स एकदम से आके सर्च नहीं कर रहे हैं बट इफ यू ट्राई टू डू इट इन दिसंबर अगेन सेम थिंग विल हैपन क्योंकि दिसंबर में स्टूडेंट्स लैंड करते हैं फ्लाइट्स के रेट क्यों अप हो जाते हैं दिसंबर में फ्लाइट्स के रेट क्यों अप होते हैं अगस्त में द रीजन इज सेम बिकॉज स्टूडेंट्स आर ट्रेवलिंग सो दिस इज अगेन डिमांड एंड सप्लाई सो इन एंटायर कैनेडियन इकोनॉमी डिपेंड्स अपॉन स्टूडेंट्स चाहे वो फ्लाइट्स के थ्रू हो चाहे वो अकोमोडेशन के थ्रू हो चाहे जो एक्सपेंसिस स्टूडेंट्स आते हैं इमिडिएटली इतनी सारी शॉपिंग करते हैं इतनी शॉपिंग करते हैं किसी ने लैपटॉप लेना है सोच रखा है इंडिया में लेना था बट इंडिया में स्विच अलग होते हैं यहाँ अलग होते हैं सो पीपल थिंक कैनेडा जाके ले लेंगे कॉस्ट भी कम पड़ेगी लैपटॉप इतने परचेज करते हैं मोबाइल्स इतने परचेज करते हैं हेडफोन्स इतने सारे परचेज करते हैं अगस्त के अंदर इतनी सारी शॉपिंग होती है पूरे 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 ईयर में इतनी शॉपिंग नहीं होती जितने अगस्त में शॉपिंग होती है जितने स्टूडेंट्स बाहर से आते हैं दे ट्राई टू बाय एज मच एज पॉसिबल टू थाउजेंड डॉलर हाथ में आते हैं टू थाउजेंड डॉलर घर से लाते हैं टू थाउजेंड डॉलर दे गेट फ्रॉम देयर जी आई सी फोर थाउजेंड डॉलर हाथ में होते हैं उनके एंड एक बार लगता है कि कुछ जो लेना है ले लू अभी ले लू अभी हाथ खुला है कार्स कार्स की सेलिंग इंक्रीज हो जाती है अगस्त और सेप्टेम्बर के अंदर वेन एवर स्टूडेंट्स कम शुरू में ही कुछ स्टूडेंट्स आते हैं दे ट्राई टू बाय द कार एज वेल तो इकोनॉमी में डायरेक्ट जो यूनिवर्सिटी को पैसा आ रहा है वो तो है ही जीआईसी के लिए जो बैंक में पैसा आ रहा है वो तो है ही प्लस जो एक्स्ट्रा पैसा भी आता है उससे जो एक्सपेंसेस जो स्टूडेंट्स करते हैं जो चीजें परचेज करते हैं वो डायरेक्टली को डायरेक्ट बूस्ट देती है इकोनॉमी को डायरेक्ट बूस्ट देती है प्लस स्टूडेंट स्टार्ट वर्किंग फॉर जॉब एज वेल सर्चिंग फॉर जॉब एज वेल एंड वो कंपिटिशन होता है तो नो बिजनेस सफर इन दैट सीनरियो बिकॉज जॉब पे काम करने वाले लोग हैं बिजनेस को बंद करने की जरूरत ही नहीं है ड्यू टू लेस लेस लेबर लेबर अवेलेबल है स्टूडेंट्स आर देयर टू टेक टेक ऑल द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज कोई भी जॉब दे दो हम कर लेंगे बेकरी में दे दो वेयर हाउस में दे दो डिलीवरीज uh, करने की दे दो कोई जॉब दे दो स्टूडेंट्स आर रेडी टू डू ऑल काइंड ऑफ जॉब्स सो देर इज अ ग्रेट इकोनॉमिक बूस्ट विद स्टूडेंट्स विदाउट स्टूडेंट्स कैनेडा कैन नॉट वर्क नहीं चल सकता सो इट रिक्वायर सो मच ऑफ गर्ड्स टू स्टॉप कैनेडा स्टडी विज एप्लीकेशन बहुत ही अलग लेवल का पागलपन चाहिए होगा स्टडी विज एप्लीकेशन रोकने के लिए अगर इसको रोकना है तो इट शुड गो डाउन स्लोली रोकना है तो उसका वो तरीका होगा इट कैन नॉट बी लाइक इस लास्ट ईयर वी डिड फाइव लैक एक्सेप्टेंसिस 
now this year we are going to do 2 lakhs only no there cannot be there is no way to fill up this gap sudden ye fill bhi nahi hoga to agar ye gradual increase hua hai to gradually niche jayega otherwise canadian canadian economy will will collapse jitne log jahan kaam kar rahe hain they will not get job for example if you working in uh, starbucks of uh, uh, maybe conestoga college for example or any other college as well so if three people were working all the shifts were going on uh, now if less number of students are there half students are there uh, senior students are now passed out and now half number of students are there in that case what is what is going to happen to that job and same impact will happen on teacher same impact will happen on staff everywhere and it has domino effect so they will buy less they will have less number of jobs and it has domino effect so canadian government this will be like a disaster for them if they are going to stop study visa application and requires so much of guts the probability of so if you talk about probability probability is really less really really less that they are going to stop study visa application if they are going to stop their operations in india then the operations will run from canada and we have already seen uh, seen with our experience that operations will not be shut completely because they have already made the system to to complete or the give the results from inside canada cpc edmonton ottawa these are major centers from where you are going to get your results even if everything shuts down in india high commission bhi band ho gaya so you will get your result because you have already kar chuke hain so if they don't decide to go against study visa application embassy ke band hone se bhi aapko koi impact nahi hoga your results may be delayed but you will get it from other places you will get it from inside canada you will get it from edmonton or you will get it from ottawa or you will get it from abu dhabi aapke result aa jayenge covid mein bhi application distribute hui thi aap liye aapki application bhi distribute ho jayegi don't worry about it impact and timeline on spouse visa applications ye bhi hum discuss kar chuke hain same cheez is same thing is there uh, uh, the way they cannot shut study visa applications same way they cannot shut spouse visa applications as well because family reunification is a big issue in canada so canada bahut 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 loudly bolta hai family 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 if they are going to say we are not going to use spouse visa applications to bahut major concern hone wala hai kyunki jitna gana gaya hai canada ne uh, in terms of uh, uh, family reunification इन प्रीवियस कोविड टाइम्स उतना किसी कंट्री ने नहीं कहा दे मेड ए सेपरेट पोर्टल फॉर विस्ट वीजा एप्लीकेशन एज वेल फॉर फॉर प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ एप्लीकेशन क्विकली एंड ऑल उन्होंने बहुत सारी ऐसी चीजें की जिसमें फैमिली का कंसेप्ट बीच में था सो फैमिली वीजाज विल नॉट स्टॉप अगेन इट इज ए मोर स्ट्रॉगर कैटेगरी कंपेयर टू स्टडी वीजा एप्लीकेशन स्टडी वीजा का इम्पैक्ट इकोनॉमी पे होता है एंड इसका इम्पैक्ट जो है उनकी वैल्यूज जो कैनेडियन वैल्यूज जो बोलते हैं उस पर होता है डायरेक्ट तो वट एवर दे आर दे हैव सेड लाउडली कि हम स्पाउस को अलग नहीं कर सकते फैमिली को अलग नहीं कर सकते सो दिस मे नॉट स्टॉप मतलब ये रुक नहीं सकता इफ यू वॉन्ट टू बी कॉशियस एक चीज कर सकते हैं इसके अंदर अप्लाई स्पाउस वीजा एप्लीकेशन अलोंग विद स्टडी वीजा एप्लीकेशन दिस इज वन थिंग यू कैन मार्क एंड वी आर रेडी टू अप्लाई फॉर दैट एज वेल इफ यू आर इफ यू फील दैट कि अलग अलग एप्लीकेशन के अंदर मैं चला जाऊं स्पाउस नहीं पहुंचेगा if i am there in canada and my spouse and kids are in india what will happen in that scenario in future application we can discuss and decide about it that apply for for the entire family together just have one question in that you should have funds ready with uh, with your uh, uh, in, in in india as well for your family per person 4000 dollar if you have in savings we will go with uh, uh, study visa and spouse visa together we have already done it you can get visa as well it's not a problem this is one question you can take apply for the entire family together whenever you are applying for study visa apply for spouse visa as well so apply for kids as well so all together you are getting visa or you are not getting visa whatever results result will happen it will be same for the entire family either entire family will travel or no one will travel that's it so this is one question you can take in terms of uh, study and spouse visa application rather than separately applying apply together for the entire family and it will be sorted for you then you are not worried about the separation you are not worried about me reaching canada and after that some issue happened 
uh, uh, happens between India and Canada, and then your your spouse is not getting visa, that is that will go away. That fear will go away. Apply for entire family together. I am ready to do it. We have already done it, and I am ready to do it to support you in this this thing. Just support me with one particular kind of thing: your financial documents, your funds, savings, either in your saving account or in your fixed deposit. Should be really good. Four thousand dollar per person is minimum. Four thousand dollar for your husband and four thousand dollar for your kids. Each kid that is required. If that is there, so uh, broadly you can uh, think about uh, per person three lakh rupees. If you are having three lakh rupees per person broadly, we are ready to go. If you if you are a family of four, in that case nine lakh rupees ready to go. Apply with family. No problem in that. travel impact after visa study and smoke so travel impact so we have discussed uh, stopping airlines travel and giving visa are different things so i i don't think that uh, uh, it should go to that far that traveling is stopped between countries right now till now uh, there is no notification in future if there will be any notification we will see i feel that travel will not stop between the countries otherwise people will stuck and it it again decreases the credibility and they won't have any reason to do it so giving new visa is another thing that okay you wanted to travel to india so, uh, the way india did india india didn't stop travel of the country uh, uh, travel of the citizens of canada they stopped new visas of the uh, of canadians so they are not issu issuing new visas if you already have visa you can travel so travel lines uh, all the airlines are working that's not a concern so for new if someone wants to go now then we don't know what is going to happen until less there is new notification from government of india but if if anyone wants to travel with, between the countries you can do so traveling is going fine for study visa applicants and for spouse visa if you have got these visas then i guess you will be able to travel otherwise if After, even after getting visa if they don't allow you to travel or if if some there is some issue either from either side in that case there will be a resolution how universities are going to teach you in that particular scenario so earlier also universities have taught and there were particular notifications that even if you are studying from india then your study will be considered as a full time student same thing can happen again if you are unable to travel then in that case there will be specific notification and your study which is completed from your home country will will also be considered or they will ask you to defer your admissions until unless the travel opens so one of the things will happen after getting your visa you are safe in all sense because either you will study uh, either you will study immediately for the time you got visa suppose you got visa for january intake you will start study in january even if you are unable to travel or if they are, don't allow you to uh, study online from india in that case they will ask you to defer and your money is safe your college or universities will not keep your money if you are having uh, your admission with uh, good colleges universities public colleges public universities even with private colleges not with private colleges private colleges where pg work permit is not there keep it aside don't apply for that that is too risky even for your visa and for your money as well if you are coming with pg work uh, any college or university where you are going to get pg work permit all these options are safe even if any scenario happens where canadian government says we are not going to give visa we are stopping everything from india you will get refund from those colleges and universities because it will be the responsibility of the government to uh, get you refund in that scenario in uk also it happened earlier as well uk government also helped everyone to get the refund from the colleges and universities when it happened i guess 2011 12 something uh, when they shut down all the colleges uh, which were running under the universities so it happened there as well and they cleared all the dues so you will also get the money back in that scenario i i want that scenario should not happen that is really uh, like a problematic scenario for everyone we don't want it to happen but agar hota hai aisa in that scenario you will get your money back so your money is you can consider that your your money is safe if it is inside canada with bank as well and with 
educational institutes as well. So don't worry about it. So money is not going anywhere if Canada is taking any action. If India is taking any action, if they don't allow you to travel to Canada, there can be different flights. India doesn't allow means uh, Indian airlines may not allow you. Doesn't allow means uh, they can't tell you that don't go outside India. India can, can't have this kind of advisory. So uh, in that case, you can travel to some other country and then come to Canada as well with some other airlines. So that's fine. So you'll be able to reach Canada. That's not a concern. If Canada shut down everything and Canada says that you cannot travel to uh, Canada, in that case, there will be uh, related uh, resolutions for that, how, how they are trying to solve the issue. If someone has got, already got visa, they have admission fees with the university. So some resolution is going to happen in that scenario. They, will, they are going to share it along with this notification as well. So I'm not worried, worried about it. Even if both the parties take extreme measures, still you will not lose anything. Just the extreme damage that can happen. It is not the money. It is your emotion that in worst case scenario, you may not be able to reach Canada in due time. Whenever you want to come, it may happen. That is the extreme thing that can happen, which I am again not as assuming. So uh, I feel that you don't have it is a calculated risk and you don't have anything in risk as such. Uh, even if you don't, if you are unable to reach Canada, in that case, your money is secured. Don't worry. It is with bank. It is with the university. You will get it refunded back. And we are also discussing it with the partners uh, directly as well. All the policy and universities, what they are going to do in this kind of scenario. What is their, uh, what are the precautions or what, what are the things? to safeguard students in that scenario. So I'm already sending emails to all those places where we are doing admissions and we are trying to find out all the assurances for that so that everything is safeguard. So don't worry, we are doing all the efforts for that with Apply Board and with other partners as well, with the college and universities directly as well. And I'm going to meet all those people very soon in Toronto. So I'm going to discuss it very clearly what, what will happen in that extreme kind of scenario. So I will discuss and share my, uh, my update. So don't worry about it. Uh, there are people, your friends are already there in universities. Don't worry about it. We are also here. And uh, Apply Board is also here. There, So there are big partners, big people involved in this entire process. So you need not to worry about it. Your money is safe. Uh, and that is the biggest thing that matters. Your money should be safe. That will be safe. New visa versus travel I have already discussed. Uh, new visa is a different kind of thing. India has stopped new visas for Canadian citizens. There is no impact of Indian students for that. You can travel outside and come inside as well uh, if you if you can travel if you want to travel. But my suggestion is do not travel from Canada to India. If you are inside Canada, inside Canada, stay inside Canada until unless everything normalizes. Travel is still happening. Uh, it cannot stop. I believe even if Canadian Canada can stop, Canada can stop the flights. Even if uh, India can stop, India can stop its flights. But there can be other airlines as well with which you can travel. If Canada stops all kind of travels from Indians coming inside, then also it is a really, really bold big step uh, which cannot uh, be taken uh, like anything. It means it, it is not easy to stop all kind of travels like this. So it will be a bold step. I feel it will not happen just like stopping Canada study visa application. It is same like that only. Intensity is same. Refund of application. Someone asked me for refund. We are already discuss, discussing about it. If something bad happens, if some issue happens with the application, if Canada says that I am not going to refund anything, uh, I am not going to give visas to students, then if students have already paid the fee, then what will happen? So we are already discussing this kind of scenarios as well. Uh, there is apply board in between. There are universities uh, with whom we are directly uh, having the conversation. So uh, logically, your money doesn't go anywhere. If you are not studying, you will get it refunded, refunded back. If if your government, so I am talking about uh, suppose I am talking to Algoma University. So I'll say if your government is not giving me visa, give my money back. That's it. So it will be simple. Uh, I just want to get, get reassurance from everyone, all the partners in that, so that they also understand the scenario. And they, are, they, are, they should be ready with this type of scenarios as well. 
and they should be ready for refund i just want to get the assurance of it logically yes they need to refund and canadian government is the one who is going to be responsible for all these kind of refunds refunds it will happen don't worry about it so i am not concerned about it because i know that if my money is stuck with this university or you know uh, colleges in this particular kind of scenario where i am not getting visa government is saying that we are not going to give visa in that case as well my money is secured i will get my money back okay so we have discussed almost everything whatever was there in my mind through questions as well and uh, through uh, this discussion as well what is the usual timeline for spouse plus click uh, uh, spouse plus kids application day right now it is there are two type of timelines either it is uh, eight weeks or even more or it is 15 to 20 days two type of timelines are there typically it is six to eight weeks uh but then some type of tensions going on through my mind yes i understand that uh, tension is there you may be anxious why while doing your application until unless you reach canada and until unless everything is sorted but here uh, uh sometimes you need to take this type of decision i also took it because everyone was stopping me uh, don't go on study visa you will get direct pr as well बैठे रहते तो बैठे रहते सो माय डिसीजन वुड बी डोंट स्टॉप योर एप्लीकेशंस इफ इट इज इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी इन द प्रोसेस इफ यू हैव मेड योर माइंड देन प्रोसेस इट सो इट इज अ कैलकुलेटेड रिस्क बिकॉज नथिंग इज इज ऑन स्टेक नथिंग इज ऑन स्टेक मींस यस यू आर यू आर इमोशनली अटैच्ड विद योर एप्लीकेशन एंड योर इमोशंस आर गोइंग टू बी ब्रोकन इफ यू डोंट रीच कनाडा बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ मनी इट इज नॉट ऑन स्टेक Uh, your consultant, you yourself, you can get the assurance that if something bad happens, in that case, will I get the refund back? Yes, definitely, will get the refund back. You will get this kind of answer only. I'm already inside Canada, and I can meet people in if something bad happens, if some refund is stuck or some issue happens, and we have well wishers, knowns, friends, family members everywhere, almost everywhere, and. traveling inside canada is also not really difficult it can be done so to the best of my belief can it be sorted yes it can be sorted and uh, there are other systems as well matlab kaan marodna hai to i know ki kaan kaise marodna hai i don't usually share it i don't usually ask people to do it we don't require it but wo wale methods bhi hain there are other methods as well so even if governments are there and they take poor decisions there are other uh, organizations as well inside canada and there are provincial government uh, governments as well because universities and col colleges they come under provincial government as well so there are different kind of bodies if something is against us doesn't mean everything is against us it doesn't work this way so uh, if if the entire student community is against the entire government provincial government and the systems what is going to there will be a big chaos inside canada as well no one can bear it there are millions of students inside canada it cannot it cannot work out this way so uh, students are powerful it's just that students are scattered they don't do anything foolish and they are scared of doing uh, foolish things because until unless we get the pr we are scared of things but if something goes really extreme in that case there is no other option but to revolt so i am not afraid uh, of these type of actions by any government these are extreme steps i am assuming it will not happen it even if it happens that we have again we have cushion for our funds for our money whatever we are depositing in different banks or uh, to the colleges and universities as well so proceed for the applications i will not stop because again it is from my side calculated risk you need to take risk sometimes it is bit higher sometimes it is bit lower but in all decisions risk is there you should take it and proceed and uh, question is there that i am assuring you i have given my passport stamp uh, tag team sent to algoma university they said that uh, they have sent through apply board but i haven't got any confirmation from university you will not get any confirmation from the university you will get the confirmation of enrollment directly whenever you are going to join so don't worry about it just get the assurance from the team that they have submitted it if they have submitted it, don't worry about it you will get your seat in january intake it won't be a problem 
uh, so many questions people uh, alexander college fail students to earn money you review on that no i am not sure about this particular kind of thing in terms of visa acceptance rate alexander college is really good till now whenever i applied with alexander college i applied for one program only associate of arts business whenever i applied i got the visa so uh, till now it is working fine for me and uh, that's that's why i said that yes you can proceed for it this particular thing i don't know i'm not sure about it okay current uh, study visa trend is really good uh, most of the people are getting visa in first attempt only with me uh, i i don't know about others for me it is from beginning right now as well it is going fine even in the most complex cases project management is best course uh, for admission to goma university after bcom or any other course is better so you have two kind of options either go for business management or go for project management project management is a strong option two year option if you want to go for one year option then go for business management uh, both will work after bcom uh, it's not a problem how long does macquarie university issue offer letter interested students 20 days approximately if i have ielts gt accepted study visa yes ielts gt can be used for study visa application under sds category you require minimum 6 in all modules in ielts academic you require overall 6 overall 6 in ielts general training you require 6 in all modules 6 in all modules okay my file also going to be submitted through tig for swp and uh, do a rumors my wife uh, and i am worried that's why i text you uh, no need to worry about it we are proceeding for the applications and uh, your spouse will be able to join you don't worry about it it's uh, uh, we are equally vigilant uh, i won't say really concerned concerned means uh, i don't know the exact word for it uh, we are we know that we need to do it and we want to do it quickly as soon as possible and hamari taraf se zor lag raha hai ki सब लोग ठीक ठाक पहुंच जाए किसी के साथ कोई इशू ना हो फॉर फ्यूचर साथ में लगे ताकि कोई इशू ही ना हो हाउ मच बैंड रिक्वायर्ड इन जी टी सिक्स इन ऑल मॉड्यूल्स इमिग्रेशन ग्रोज ऑन इट्स ग्रोथ पार्थ एंड बिकम ए मेजर प्लेयर इन दिस फील्ड एक्सिलेंट स्मूथ प्रोसेस थैंक यू सो मच सैयद एंड थैंक यू फॉर योर रिव्यू एज वेल आई सो योर रिव्यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट एज वेल my age is 40 will i get visa yes age is not a concern 40 41 42 45 40, 50 51 till 51 we have got visa we are trying for someone after age 51 as well so uh, you will also get it don't worry about it. age is not a concern uh, yesterday only uh, day before yesterday i put the video with the madhavan i guess madhavan yeah i guess so uh, he came to meet me and uh, i'm i'm bad with names sorry for that uh, so he came to meet me and uh, i made the vid- video with him he got visa with family at age 40 so proceed for it age is not a concern just watch that video my file is sent to you for sop uh, approximately how much time after, uh, i have just one or two files left i believe maybe two three so uh, maybe right now i'll try to complete if the file is with me but i have completed most of the files which are pending with me may it may be with the uh, gorav uh, but let me check I, i'm not sure about it is that any problem 5.5 band in one module in ielts if it is ielts academic it is not a problem uh, we require overall 6 and if you are living in india pakistan sds country then overall 6 is fine there is opportunity in every crisis yes there is opportunity in every crisis i am trying to find out the opportunity i should uh, join the party some party here political party here <laughs> due to gains and circumstances our families are concerned they are suggesting uh, to my husband to defer to april and take he got his visa already don't defer right now so my suggestion is don't defer right now so sometimes it is mereko wo story yaad aati hai Uh, i don't know uh, was it dhirubhai ammani or someone else, i guess I, i'm not sure about it or ratan tata i am not sure about the name of the person but there was a uh, big tornado or something of this sort on road but he asked the driver to kept on driving after 2 minutes nothing was there on road everything was really clear and they cleared it and who was stopping there just kept 
uh, stopping due to the fear of not driving so sometimes thoda sa thoda sa na dheet hoke na karna hota hai cheeze so thoda sa uh, just uh, show your macho macho spirit something of this sort so sometimes just just go just go with the flow sometimes things are not that not that bad as they look from outside it happens so for example i am also worried ki mujhe travel karna hai gta mein and everyone is stopping me but it is crucial for me to travel kyunki mujhe ja ke i need to meet algoma representatives as well i need to meet uh, other people in uh, uh, apply board as well i need to have so many crucial meetings i am trying to have meet up with students mai mila nahi hu students se कभी फेस नहीं देखा फेस टू फेस कभी किसी स्टूडेंट से नहीं मिला हूँ दे आर इन स्टडिंग इन अलगोमा यूनिवर्सिटी दिस विल बी द फर्स्ट टाइम आई मे हैव मीटिंग विद द स्टूडेंट्स इन अलगोमा जिनको वीजा किया है उनसे कभी मिला तक नहीं हूँ मैं आई ने फेसिस दे हैव नेवर मेट मी नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ दी आई है मेरा सैनाजी है आफ्टर कमिंग टू कैनेडा तो एक दो बच्चों से ही मिला जो यहाँ आके मिल लिया दैट्स इट अदरवाइज आई नेवर मेट द स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज माई अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मीट दम so there are so many things which are good in pushing myself ki theek hai i am asking people i am cautious as well i am asking people kuch koi problem to nahi ho rahi hai i am asking my friends koi problem to nahi ho rahi hai i am asking others as well koi problem to nahi ho rahi hai i am asking the team members jo jinhone invite kiya hai hosts ki koi problem to nahi hai i am asking everyone ki koi problem to nahi hai i am trying to be cautious but i am not stopping myself for that trip so sometimes you need to push a little कि प्रॉब्लम दिख रही है समझ आ रहा है कि प्रॉब्लम है बट समटाइम्स पुश अ लिटल तो जनरली प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व हो जाती है या आपके जाने से सॉल्व हो जाती है या पहुंचने के बाद सॉल्व हो जाती है या प्रॉब्लम होती ही नहीं है बाहर से लग रहा होता है बहुत बड़ी प्रॉब्लम है सो दिस इज माई वे ऑफ वर्किंग कि थोड़ा डरता हूँ मैं यस आई आई ऑल्सो हैव सम फियर फियर इज गुड लेकिन इतना नहीं कि मैं डिसाइसिव नहीं हूँ सो आई एम डिसाइसिव कि मैंने डिसाइड किया मुझे जाना है मेरी टिकट बुक्स है जाना है दैट इज वट आई एम गोइंग टू डू तो जाना है जाना है बट आई एम ट्राइंग टू बी बिट कॉशियस मैं थोड़ा डर रहा हूँ ताकि नो वन कैन हार्म मी तो ये भी है थोड़ा सा तो मैं उसके लिए थोड़ा सा ध्यान रखूंगा बस दैट्स इट हो सकता है कि कुछ भी ना हो हो सकता है कि थोड़ा बहुत कुछ हो हो सकता है कि बहुत कुछ हो जाए बट आई एम रेडी फॉर इट मतलब मुझे थोड़ा सा क्वेश्चन रखना है उसके अंदर कुछ फ्रेंड्स साथ में होंगे तो आई विल फाइन आई फील सो सो निकल जाओ डोंट स्टॉप डोंट एफर Do you think universities who are currently reviewing applications may consider not to admit Indian students <laughs> in Algoma University? Do you know how many Indian students are there? The ninety-nine percent of students are Indian. It means university will shut down. University will shut down if they stop taking applications from India. Ninety-nine percent students are Indian. Algoma University Project Management Program. you will not find students of any other community in algoma university project management do you know how many students are there from india in konestoga college it has 24000 students how many students from india 60 70% students are from india do you think canadians are studying no if canadians were studying they wouldn't be needing students from outside canadians are not studying there Indian students are there most of the places you are going to find, and colleges and universities are sorted for Chinese. <laughs> different colleges and universities are there for Indians. Different universities are uh, and colleges are there. It is sorted. You will not find mixed kind of crowd everywhere. No, that that doesn't happen. For for example, University of Victoria, you will not find Indian students. Very less number of Indian students are there. Philippines, uh, Philippines students are there. Chinese students are there. Most. indian students are very less in uh, university of victoria if we start promoting yes it can come up uh, uh, indian students can come to uh, university of victoria as well but uh, as a whole university and colleges are running just on the basis of indian students if tomorrow they stop taking indian or uh, indian students they will shut down for sure For any other further steps, no. Our own salary was four lakh per month. Great. Uh, in Qatar, I resigned and will move to Canada and start from zero again. So yeah, 
as Sayed said, same thing. He may not get four lakh salary for next three years, two years of education, one year of experience, and I don't know in his experience how much salary he is going to get. It is not going to be four lakh rupees per month for sure. Starting salary will be somewhere around five six thousand dollars, and then with taxes and all those things, you will get nothing in hand. So uh, you you can have savings, but not not like this, not four lakh per month. Without I guess there there will not be any tax in that. I I am assuming that. So if there are no taxes in that case. Uh, when he is going to reach to four lakh rupees per month, entirely in hand, it will take a long time. Then also, it is a step. It is also a risk. He is coming to this country even after getting visa. It is it is a risk. He is uh, living in Qatar. Why he why he is coming to Canada? Because he cannot get permanent residency in Qatar. He cannot go back to India. So if if you have already uh if you came out of india so it is like yesterday also i was seeing this example so if you were living in a village now you came to a city then in that case you want to if you are not liking the city you can go to a different city but you can't go back to village it it happens like this so same if you are living outside india in some developed country in that case you can go to a different developed country now but you cannot or you don't want to go to india back you have attachment with india in, with your home country you have so much of attachment even though that the attachment is there because you have lived in a developed country now you can't go back to india and you don't want to go back even though you have st strong attachment with, with your country it happens so he is now coming from qatar because he cannot get permanent residency there just for his permanent residency i believe he is coming to canada it happens with most people and this is a scenario why people come to canada even though the taxes are higher, even though uh, uh, the population is less, even though you are not going to find out uh, uh, so many things you, which you may be enjoying in Qatar, like uh, domestic help or something of this, this type of things, uh, or people cooking for you or getting Indian restaurants quite easily. These type of things may not happen here while you are living, or you may not be able to uh, eat out quite often. It can happen. Still, because you want to settle permanently somewhere now, that's why people come to Canada from from Gulf countries specifically, or from USA, or from uh, from someone living in African countries as well. Indians, I'm talking about Indians. So this is a scenario. So if you are already living outside Canada, outside India, in that case, you want to shift to some other country where you can get permanent residency. That's why people come to Canada. But it is a risk, and he may not. It may take him like five, seven years to reach to this kind of salary level. He's also taking this risk. And for next two years, three years for sure, he is not getting this kind of salary. So by the time, till the time he's completing his study, then his first job, he's, he's not going to get this kind of salary for next two, three years. Still he's coming. So there, there is a reason for that. And he is taking calculated risk for his future and for his family as well. My passport is at IRCC office, New Delhi. Uh, Will the pickup be delayed? No. Uh, VFS centers are different. So don't com confuse VFS centers with other things. VFS center is different and uh, your embassy, that is different. So VFS center is there in Chandigarh as well. It is there in uh, it is there in so many places. So VFS centers are the places where your passport is stamped and you give your biometric. So this, that is a VFS center. So it is going to be stamped in VFS. VFS are working. Don't worry about it. Embassy and VFS. So again, they are different. My brother is about to apply for a study visa because uh, it is a big step to invest so much money, such a hard time. Uh, so again, uh, Shweta, my recommendation is to apply for it, proceed for it, uh, because ultimately I have discussed that uh, your money won't be on risk. So don't worry about it. We are ensuring and getting reassurance as well. Again, logically, it is never on risk. If you're not getting visa, you'll get the money back. But we are getting reassurances as well in extreme kind of scenarios. What will the status of people who have lost the visa and made of processing? They are getting results, uh, making all the money. Yes, uh, we are proceeding and uh, uh, 
uh, we are getting results as well for whom we have applied earlier and we are proceeding for other applications as well and we are processing applications as well we are again someone was asking me for sop i'm writing sops every day i'm giving the files for uh, lodgement it is happening they have submitted my passport host time do i no need to worry about anything vfs is different body they will give your passport back threats are given to hindus so what are the pros and cons polarization is pros and cons so it is a political topic i will not go into it tamna uh, i submitted today nothing to worry yeah. nothing to worry be positive you will get it vfs centers are working differently don't worry my file lost in 6 september is there any risk of uh, tension no don't don't worry about it you are about to get your uh, result very soon and uh, i i feel your result should be positive if you didn't make any issues in your file deferment possible uh, for second time yes after getting visa you can get deferment for any number of times it's not a concern but don't defer you can proceed if you are able to go go for canada college uh, is it before paying fee or after paying fee I, i'm not sure about it please clear it said versus mckeven university project management i always like mckeven university uh, everything is easy good and uh, uh, mckeven is really good if you want to go to uh, calgary go for said if you want to go for mckeven uh, to edmonton go for uh, mckeven Edmonton is better than Calgary in terms of expenses. So start your life in uh, with Mac even in Edmonton. There will be better decision. UCW is best. Yeah, Sheridan College. Uh, <laughs> comparison is really uh, okay. So UCW is going to give you master's degree, even though Sheridan is public college. Still, I will value UCW more than Sheridan. If you are ready to study good in your MBA. in that case go for ucw if you are talking about a bachelor's degree or associate of arts degree in ucw then in that case go for sheridan then sheridan will be better if you are talking about mba then definitely we will get masters degree from ucw uh, rather than a pg diploma in sheridan ucw is good and uh, uh, you can get visa as well it's not a concern given that i am still assuming everything that your profile is pg level ug level i am assuming everything here i don't have any reference point so just share your profile let me see and uh, then we can proceed for you and also mba is uh, two year study and if you are going to get it with foundation then it the cost will become 42000 approximately and study will be two years plus three month of foundation as well if you are getting foundation then it is going to be really costly fir decide kar lena ki kahan jana Sheridan will be less costly in that scenario, and you can complete one year study in Sheridan. Then a four year ki study can you can also do. With the UCW, two year ki study will be there. Yogi MBA will be. Does Canadian Embassy verify a degree or something to confirmation of example? Some students get degree or diploma from private university. What do you think about it? Uh, if you are getting it from IEC. any university in arunachal pradesh or northeast anywhere if you are getting it from uh, kalinga university if you are getting it from sunrise university most probably your degree is going to be checked and they will ask for additional documents as well assume karke chalna ki aapke paas aane wala hai they check it in most cases these are in grey list these universities but visa aa jata hai wo aisa bhi nahi hai agar prove karoge to visa aa jayega even some students get visa with fake degrees but some Yeah, to get visa. They go visa. Everyone comes. We get visa for everyone. Uh, fake key definition. I have explained in a video. Mein explain ki aapko. If anything is validated and verified, it is original. If anything is not verified, is fake. I will give an example. De deta Someone working with me in immigration gurus. He has applied for a visa. And uh, they are attached the experience as well immigration gurus mein sales consultant ka kaam kar raha hu sales manager aur kuch bhi they applied for visa and uh, ifcc sent an inquiry to me and i said no that guy is not working with the immigration gurus it means your experience even though you are really working you are actually working even though you are attaching original experience still your experience is fake because i said you are not working with me so now your experience is fake even though you were working 
so definition of fake versus original is uh, is if it is verified it's original if it is not verified it is fake same happens with your bank balances as well if any anything goes to your bank manager bank uh, bank manager doesn't reply to the email of ircc uh, ircc must have asked uh, this guy claimed that he has 6 6 lakh rupees in fixed deposit uh, can you verify and confirm your bank manager doesn't even reply or replies that you don't have any fd with them now it is fake even though you had an fd with that bank now it is fake so that is the definition same with the degree if it is verified if you are given enough proofs all the proofs vas is there everything is there if it is verified and uh your university said yes the guy has has done degree you have given all the proof you have vest as well uh, everything all all kind of proofs are there you have your uh, fee payment proofs as well you went to the university got the transcript you have paid the fee for that you have all kind of proofs available with that with you you have proved your degree they can't say it is fake now it is original and they uh you you completed your degree from university of delhi they email to university of delhi and university of delhi didn't even reply now your degree is fake you will get additional document request and they will ask you to go to university and get the proofs now your degree has become uh, fake and now you need to prove your original degree which is from university of delhi so the definition is if it is verified it is original if it is not verified it is fake everyone will get visa if if these things are sorted then if someone is with me you are going to get visa don't worry about it hope all is well do you see any potential impact of work permit holders no uh, till now there is no impact i am not seeing any impact till now everything is going fine in future we are going to get updates we have discussed all the other scenarios in this particular live this was the live again i have applied for net college on uh, 11th august still haven't received the offer letter uh, net college net takes some time to give offer letter if it is with me just uh, ping me on whatsapp let the team uh, uh, check for the update again but it takes time please get the backup offer letter as well if you are applying with net say this type of colleges they take time so get a back backup offer letter as well आपसे अप्लाई किया यू सी डब्ल्यू का ऑफर लेटर आ गया है शेरेडन का वेट हो रहा है सो वी कैन प्रोसीड वेर आर यू वॉन्ट वी कैन प्रोसीड यू सी डब्ल्यू इज ऑल्सो फाइन शेरेडन इज ऑल्सो फाइन बोथ आर फाइन यू कैन डिसाइड बेस्ड ऑन वेदर यू आर गेटिंग फाउंडेशन और नोट बट आई स्टिल अगेन आई डोंट नो द प्रोफाइल वेदर यू आर गोइंग ऑन यू जी लेवल पी जी लेवल सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वी कैन डिसाइड इफ यू आर कमिंग ऑन यू जी लेवल विद यू सी डब्ल्यू नॉट नॉट हाईली रिकमेंडेड ओके So, it's from your team said uh, to wait for seven to eight days for SOP completion or spousal permit permitter. Will it uh, delay? The... Okay, just uh, ping me uh, online. Let me note down the name as well. I'll try to finish it as soon as possible. Within one two days, it should happen. If anything is pending, I'll I'll personally see. Don't worry about it. Uh, can you can you give me the name or just ping me on whatsapp let me check for uh, the sop i'll try to finish all the sops soon it is a usual timeline they say because uh, uh, if it is not completed in one two days then everyone keeps saying that you said one two days it will happen sometimes it takes time when number of uh, applications are more so usual reply is 7 to 8 days आगे मेरा आई सी यूनिवर्सिटी से रिफ्यूजल आया था और जब दूसरी बार लॉन्च की तब क्या वेरीफाई होती है पाँच महीने हो गए हैं अब तक कुछ नहीं आया पहले रिफ्यूजल टू पॉइंट फाइव महीने में आया था ओके यस इट कैन बी वेरीफाइड फ्रॉम आई सी यूनिवर्सिटी इन मोस्ट केसेस द वेरीफिकेशन कम्स बट पीपल गेट वीजा विद आई सी यूनिवर्सिटी एज वेल सो देर आर सो मैनी सो मैनी सो मैनी सो मैनी सो मैनी पीपल हुई गोट वीजा विद आई सी यूनिवर्सिटी सो इट्स नॉट ए कंसर्न यू विल गेट वीजा विद आई सी इट्स नॉट ए प्रॉब्लम वेरिफिकेशन मोस्ट केसेस में होती है इट इज इन ग्रे लिस्ट फॉर श्योर कलिंगा इज ऑल्सो इन ग्रे लिस्ट माई पासपोर्ट इज एट आई आर सी सी ऑफिस टू वरी अबाउट इट डोंट वरी क्या ये बैटरी इज लो जस्ट इन मे सेकेंड
my battery is low now as well kar diya yaar डोंट वरी अबाउट आशुतोष अबाउट पासपोर्ट अब तक तो स्टैंप हो गया होगा मिल जाएगा आपको जल्दी एंड ये स्टाफ वी एफ एस वाला स्टाफ अलग होता है वी एफ एस स्टाफ इज डिफरेंट एंड हाई कमीशन स्टाफ हायर लेवल स्टाफ इज डिफरेंट ये दोनों अलग अलग चीजें हैं डोंट वरी आई पैट हंड्रेड टेन डॉलर यूनिवर्सिटी बट देसो आस्ट मी टू पे वन थाउजेंड डॉलर फॉर यस पे फॉर द फी योर एडमिशन इज डन can 1000 uh, adjust me it will be adjusted in your fee don't worry about it but if this is your seat confirmation seat a seat confirmation amount and you will get the final offer letter after that i am applying for jan 2024 yeah that's fine i applied for offer letter in canada or north bay and tomorrow it completed one month what should i do canada or takes time they may not even have seat i am not sure about it canada is bit risky in terms of securing seat they have less number of seats and demand is really high so uh, get a backup as well uh, if it is with me just ping me on whatsapp let me check for the updates awaiting approval for sds applied on 9 september soon you can get the approval it is taking like 15 to 20 days to get the results so you can get your result within this month you can get it okay thank you so much everyone for watching this live till the end if you want to apply with me just ping me on my, my whatsapp number 9812380882 i say my number share it with others as well so that they can also uh, proceed and apply with me uh, will canada stop student and close visa okay neeraj you are a bit late in the entire live session we have discussed it uh, i feel that it will not happen so proceed for it don't worry okay thank you so much everyone uh, for liking please subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed uh, and thank you so much for staying with me till here if you are still here uh, liking what i am doing please subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed please share it with others as well because others may be feeling these type of things uh in this particular scenario uh, there there are so many news uh, which are floating uh, politically triggered and other things are also there people may be in panic situations but uh, immigration point of view i am still really positive so you can share it with others so that they can also get some clarity with this entire session thank you so much see you in next live